Hi, hi, greetings and more grace to everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl, Janae Evans, back again with yet another topic of discussion. But listen, before we begin to discuss anything, why don't you go ahead over there and please hit that like button. You can use this finger, this thumb right here, it doesn't matter. Go ahead and hit it, please. Thank you so much. And if you would, please so kind of go on, tank on over there uh, to that subscribe button and tap it if you hadn't already done so. Thank you so much. Uh, come on and join the family. Come on and join this community where we are educating, we are empowering, we are strengthening each other. Listen, because we help us one to another. Listen, if we don't help each other, who's going to help us? Come on, now we're working together in this thing. So listen, if you would be so kind also, that if you find something relevant in this content that can be a blessing to somebody else, sis, sir, please go ahead on and, and, and share it and, and recommend people to come on over and check us out over here. Then go ahead on and mention that subscribe button as well. Listen, we still helping each other. So without further delay, I want to come um, with this little mini series of, of, a, of a little uh, topic of discussion that God placed on my heart. And this is specifically for the new believers um, to the body of Christ, believers in the Lord Jesus uh, Christ, uh, those of who are, who are just new to the faith. I want to give you uh, uh, a few core basics or fundamentals that each and every new believer in the body of Christ should know. And so I'm going to just do it in a, a series of several videos to follow so that each one won't be so long. But uh, this is the, in this first one, we're going to be talking about the first basic. It's going to be about nice, not about nine things that I, I found and discovered are, are just some basics. Is this the, the, the law? No. Is this, you know, just something that you abide by, you know, that, that is just solid. No, it could be others. But these are just a few things that I uh, found in scripture that are just key basics and key fundamentals for each and every new believer to the faith in the body of Christ should know. These are things that should be engrafted in your subconscious, in your in your consciousness, in your heart. These are just a few basics that each believer should know. So the first thing that I believe each and every uh, new believer should know is an assurance of salvation. This is going to pretty much kill the conversation about whether, you know, once saved, always saved. Honey, we're going to go ahead and dismantle it now. So the first thing every new believer should know is an assurance of salvation. So, you know, I got to take you to the scripture so we can have a biblical foundation for, it, you know. So, 1 John chapter 5, verse 11 through 13. Check this out. It said, and the testimony is this, that God has given us eternal life. And this life is in his son. So, listen, he who the son, who he who has the son has life. He who does not have the son does not have life. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. I just want to give you a foundation for uh, uh, for having an assurance of your salvation. And that was 1 John chapter 5, verse 11 through 13. So listen, check this out. Many Christians are believers in the, in the Lord Jesus Christ. We spend a lot of time, listen, you know in those early years how it happened, wrestling with the uh, the fact of, uh, of the concept or the thought of, of, of whether or not you're saved, you know, over a period of time, over a period of battle, over a period of things that life may take us through. Sometimes that stuff may have you questioning. Am I still saved? My God, from Zion, you already know how it goes. But listen, this is an issue that must first and foremost be settled in the hearts and the minds of everyone who has decided to become a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is something that's got to be settled. This is something you got to know. Okay? So listen, when a baby is born, 
there's no question that that child exists. That child has arrived. Listen, because you can clearly see the child. Ain't no question about that. And just as a physical birth is clear, and it is evident that this has happened, listen, in a specific moment of time, so is your salvation. It's the same. So just as clear as you can see a baby being born, it's evident because you can see that child. The same is with your salvation. Listen, and this, this happens actually when a person is born again, you know, by the spirit of God. That's your, when you when you um, when you've become saved, when you've accepted salvation, accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and savior. This is when you become born again into the body of Christ, into the family of, of believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. And listen, that moment in time is just as clear and evident as with a physical birth. Okay, I just wanted to bring some clarity to that. So listen, an assurance of salvation comes from a clear presentation and understanding of what salvation really is. Listen, you got to understand what salvation really is. So listen, as human beings, we respond to God through our intellect, you know, our emotions and our will because we're human. So whenever, you know, we encounter God in whatever area, whatever way we encounter him, we respond emotionally. We, 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 we try to, you know, uh, uh, mentally, you know, conceptualize them. And then our will, you know, our decision-making process to decide whether or not or to decide to, you know, go ahead and, and, and believe and accept them. So listen, so when we are presented with the gospel of the good news about Jesus Christ, there was a spirit spark ignited on the inside of you. This is when you first receive salvation. Listen to me. It was a spark ignited on the inside of you, which illuminated and enlightened our minds and our hearts to the truth of Jesus's death, his burial, and his resurrection. So listen, when we first heard the gospel, it was something in you that that wanted what you was hearing. Did, did you hear me? It was something in you that wanted what you was hearing and you allowed yourself to be open to receiving that. And baby, God took that opportunity to come on in because, because you presented yourself. You presented that willingness to, to, to want to know what more, you know, could there be. So listen, this truth also helps us to understand our own sinful nature and how we were lost before coming into the knowledge of this truth truth and receiving God as our uh, Jesus as our personal Lord and Savior. It was it was this this truth, this this understanding and 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 desire you know, of, of, of wanting more of God, not the, not necessarily the understanding, but it was this desire of wanting more that brought us into, you know, the truth, okay, of his death, his burial, and his resurrection. That's what allowed us to want to even accept salvation. So listen, the ultimate factor that determined and solidified the transfer or the exchange that took place, which turned us from darkness into the marvelous light, as the scriptures say, was our surrender to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. So listen, the thing that solidified our salvation, the thing that actually got it documented was the surrender. The, the, the willingness to say, yes, Lord, I want you. Yes, Lord, I want to follow you. Okay. So it was the surrender, listen, that allowed us to believe by faith that we were forgiven of our sins, which resulted in our salvation. Listen, Jesus said it was the surrender for me. It was the surrender for me. This is why, listen to me. This is why each and every time we mess up, as long as we, we, we make sure the Bible said we confess our sins, huh? He said he faithful and he just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us of all of our unrighteousness. Listen, that's why every time we mess up, when we go to God, baby, forgiveness is, is there. 
He said he'll forgive us. You know, he, 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 he'll do it because not for the box. First of all, the scripture said he's faithful, huh? But he do it because he remember. He remembers when you told him yes. Come on, now this is the assurance of your salvation. Listen, so we dismantling now the argument or the conversation, once saved, always saved. Can you ever not be saved again? Baby, the scripture that we read over in uh, John, 1 John chapter 5, verses 11, 13, say, and the testimony is this. A testimony is a written, you know, it's not necessarily written, but it is a, it's, it's, it's basically a, 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 an account of what happened. Did you hear me? It's, it's an account of what happened. Think about when you in, in the court of law. huh? Think about in the court of law when somebody gives their testimony. It's, an, it's that person giving an account of what happened. Listen, and 1 John 5 and uh, uh, 11 say, and the testimony is this, huh? that God has given us eternal life and this life is in his son. Huh? And that eternal life came through us accepting him as our personal Lord and Savior. So listen, the assurance of our salvation comes when we hear the gospel because the Bible says faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Listen, so that assurance of our salvation comes from when we heard the gospel. We responded by faith. You believed what you were hearing. Huh? And then because you believed him, you decided to stand there, accept him, stick with it, and then walk it out. Listen, the this is this was the first fundamental that I believe every new believer to the faith should have an, a, have an, a, an assurance and a certainty of is that when you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, sis, sir, it was documented. So no matter how much you mess up, no matter how many times you get it wrong, when we go to God sincerely and we ask that man for forgiveness, that's why he don't mind doing it. But the scripture says 70 times seven, he, he forgives us. And then he say he casts it into the sea of forgiveness, never to be remembered again. So listen, does that give you an excuse to keep saying it? I'm going to go take Galatians, say, God forbid. You ain't finna keep playing them. You ain't going to play them and play them. But because we in the in this flesh, he know, you know, it, it, we, we ain't going to get it right all the time. Come on, if you perfect, then you ain't human. My God, I'm saying. So listen, the, the, the first fundamental for each and every new believer in the Lord Jesus Christ to know and have a certainty of is that once you're saved, your salvation has already been documented. It is written. It is, it is a declaration in the heavens. And so God knows you by name, huh? Because he say on this day, in this year, at this time, Janae Evans told me yes and it ain't gonna ever be forgotten so listen thank you so much for sitting with me today um and and joining me uh in these little mini series of, of teachings for the new believer so listen until we meet again i wish you more love i wish you more light i wish you more grace and more peace listen here don't you let nobody take your peace here <laughs> bye